my dear students a very good morning to all of you today i welcome the students of standard 7th to the online session of computers in the previous class we were talking about how to perform the functions in the microsoft excel so now let us move forward to the another concept of function library so what is a function library the function library is a large group of functions on the formula tab of the ribbon these functions are available under the following categories so you can see that on the formula tab of the ribbon the large number of functions are available using which you can perform the calculation as per your requirement these functions are available under the following categories now let us look forward or let us view in detail about this group of functions so the very first function is auto sum it is used to calculate the sum of the range of numbers it means that the numbers you have selected will be summed automatically second is recently used functions so all the functions which we have recently used recently used it means uh, within an hour or within two or three hours you have performed the calculations like addition subtraction multiplications you have select the functions different functions also then that will be displayed automatically it means in the recently used functions all the functions which we are using which you are using most probably which you are using recently that will be appeared it is used for quick search of any of the functions third is financial so this financial functions are most probably used for the accounts related work it means such as accrued interest cash flow return rates additional financial functions and others fourth is logical functions it is a list of logical functions like and or and not fifth is text it includes the text related or text based functions fifth is date and time it includes the functions to calculate the date and time for example if you are creating an table with for the employees then what is the joining date of the employees at what time the employee left the company so for such date and time functions this is used then next is look up and reference it includes the functions for searching and reference purposes it means now if you want to search any of the functions if you want to search anything in the entire document then you have to use this function next is math and trick trick stands for trigonometric functions it is a list of mathematical and trigonometric functions which are the trigonometric functions like sin theta cos theta tan theta you have studied about this all the functions so these are called the trigonometric functions so if you want to perform such type of function then this math and trig function is used okay so besides this there are other functions also available in the more functions group so first you have to go to this formula tab and you will see the large group of functions available here about which we have already studied the first is auto sum then recently used financial logical tax to date and time lookup reference maths and trig and many other functions are also available about which we will study in our next chapters once you click on this more functions button you will be able to see many other functions also okay so now let us move forward to the another concept of auto sum feature so what is this auto sum feature the auto sum is a shortcut feature for using the ms excel sum function it means if you want to calculate the addition if you want to perform the sum of any of the numbers and this is a shortcut method or a quick method to perform the addition so it provides you the quick way of adding up columns or rows of numbers in a spreadsheet okay so now let us see the steps how to perform an addition using this auto sum feature so first step is enter the following data into the cells c1 to c6 so first you have to enter the data in the cell using which you want to perform the calculation so here from the cell c1 to c6 the numbers 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 are added it means they are written make sure that the cell c7 the location where the result will be displayed is blank it means you want to perform the addition you want to perform the calculation of all this data given in the cell c7 so please remember that the cell c7 should be blank it should be empty why because the result should be displayed on this cell second step is click on the home tab 
and select the auto sum button from the editing group on the ribbon and enter the sum function into the cell C7. So now you have to click on the home tab. Then select the auto sum button in the editing group to enter the sum. It means to find the result into the cell C7. Third step is the range of the data entered is selected automatically and the function appears in the cell C7. So after clicking on this auto sum button you will find that the cells will be selected automatically. It means that the numbers 11 to 16 from the cell C1 to C6 will be selected automatically and the function will be appeared in C7. For example the function sum in the bracket C1 colon C6 will be appeared automatically without writing. Press the enter key to get the result. After this, you have to just press the enter key and the answer 81 will be displayed in the cell C7. So now click on the cell C7 and the complete function that is sum is equal to sum in the parenthesis C1 colon C6 appears in the formula bar in the above worksheet. So now let us see it visually. It means we can see the figure that have it appear. So the step 1 is we will see step by step one is that this cells will be selected automatically. Can you see that this cell will be selected automatically? After that you have to go to the second step that is you have to go to the file menu. In that you have to go to the editing group and you have to search or you have to find the auto sum button. Okay, So after going to the home tab you will find an uh, editing group in that you have to select the auto sum button. Step 3 is that this sum will be appeared automatically. It means you will find this formula appeared automatically. Now after pressing the enter key you will see that the answer 81 will be displayed to you. This is how the auto sum feature works. So here we are finishing our chapter number 2. Now we will move forward to the keywords. The very first keyword is arguments. Argument is the number text or cell reference. What is cell reference or cell's location? It means the combination of the column and the row is called the cell. So the location of that cell is called the cell reference. Then formula. The sequence of values, cell references, functions and operators connected to the cell. Next is function. What is function? A predefined formula for calculating anything to carry out some common mathematical calculations is called the formula. Parenthesis means brackets. Okay, so these are the keywords. You have to write these keywords in your computer notebook. So now we will move forward to the exercises. Exercise A is filling the blanks. The answer of this filling the blanks you have to write in the textbook. Exercise B that is take the correct answer that also you have to write in the textbook. Exercise C that is find the errors that also you have to write in the textbook. Then exercise D answer the following answers that you have to write in your notebook. So the exercise D and keywords you have to write in your computer notebook and exercise A, B and C you have to write in your textbook. Okay, so the answer PDFs I will share with you. So you have to complete it in your textbook and file. Okay students for now. Bye bye. Have a great day ahead.